Hi, I'm Clyde, and welcome to Basic Works. And today, we're going to look at setting a mouse trap, where to set it, everything else. I know in the movies, the mice always love cheese. Not so much in the real world. We're going to use peanut butter. Let's do it. Use these plastic gloves when you're putting this peanut butter on here for bait because the mouse could smell the scent if you just use your fingers. So what we're going to do is put some of this just on the inside of here so that they have to grab it. And that's probably about all you need because you don't want them to get it from the outside. You just want them to have to hit this bait pedal. You can wear two gloves if you want to the whole time that you put the peanut butter on here and when you handle the mouse trap and set it in place. But for the video, I'm not going to wear the gloves. When these first arrive, because these are new, they come with a little clip that's holding this arm down and we'll just remove that. The idea is that you're gonna hook this bar under this piece of the bait pedal. Once we have the bait on, we're gonna bring this spring bar back and you can feel how much tension there is on that. We're gonna sit this bar up over the top of this spring clip here. We're gonna leave a little tension on here just so it keeps it hooked under here. Now the trap is set, when they push the bait pedal down, it's going to release this center arm and the spring is going to snap this bar shut. You can pick these up and move them around once they're set. If you keep a hold of it at this end, you're not going to snap your fingers if it accidentally goes off while you're trying to put it in position. What we're gonna do now is place this in a position somewhere like under your kitchen sink or along a wall. They don't like to travel in open spaces, like they're not just hanging out in the middle of your kitchen floor. But remember, if you're gonna sit it along a wall, it's going to go perpendicular to the wall like this. So as if the mouse is running down along the wall, he'll see this from either direction. I would suggest putting a couple of these out, even if it's two or three, couple feet apart under your kitchen sink or wherever you think that the mice are. To give you an example of how easy this thing is to trigger, if any movement makes this arm come off of this bait paddle, it will snap shut. We move this just a little. Let's say we had this set and now it has caught a mouse. You're going to want to Put on a pair of these plastic gloves just to make sure you don't get any disease from this mouse. You're going to take this over to your trash can and you're just going to lift this bar up from this side and shake it like this, dropping that rodent into the trash can. Now let's say we want to take this and disarm this thing. All you have to do here is take the spring and press it down so that you can carefully release this pressure off of this spring and just sit it back over here. Put these in your shatter somewhere for the next time and you're good to go. 